Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Simon, who is a very fine poet indeed. This band is called Richard Carrington with a Y. I think uh, all due deference that needed to receive it. Thank you very much. You've been to college as well. Yeah, in my <laughs> <laughs> of um, poetry, I've, I have, with perhaps um, increasing emphasis, um, gradually inclined myself towards the position that too long British, or perhaps more specifically English poetry, has, despite the veneer of, of being rather claustrophobic, postmodern, or more actually post Brexit sort of referentiality, in fact suffered considerably from beatings to uh, strictures of a miniature orthodoxy, a persistent static agenda. Valorised as a narrow post movement formalism and champions some spirited genteel concerns. My contention, therefore, is that poetry is to reclaim its inherent essence as a medium for communicating urgent passion as a vital rebuke to an alienated and frequently inhumane symbolic order, then it should seek to be a certain more atavistic, perhaps even visceral character. So. <laughs> Of the flesh, 
The sweet pleasures of the body thus sheathe the noble souls in mesh. She enslaves them to the carnal, trapped inside her vice. And afterwards she says, thank you, that was very nice. Come rest your gallant body, unwind with me, get calmer. Stop rambling around questing, it must be hot in that suit of armor. Let desire the life so headstrong, and leave your passion deep in me. But leave yourself down here, brave warrior, then I'll make a cup of tea. <laughs> what way would wit and him did service, what would you want to do to be she's <laughs> To one export that he partake of, what evil in his loins did serve. What foul friendage one followed, what naughty duckules did occur. Thank you, that was lovely, darling. Much oh, obliged to you, wow. Wow. Yeah. The once chaste chap is sadly fallen, no. his noble quest did tragically fail. A lifetime's purity is ruined, I'll never find that wretched grail. Like many a night before and after, he bids heroism adieu and ends up feeling satiated and appreciated too. Ooh. Give me an X! Yeah. Give me an E! e. Give me an I! I. Give me an R! R. R. What's that spell? Uh. What's that spell? Uh. 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 <laughs> Imagine Princess Anne eating an extremely large apple pie. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> a new ascendancy of poetry. 2009 was a year in which the new ascendancy of poetry began. No one has quite fathomed out why a 15-minute poetry program on BBC4 on Sunday mornings suddenly shot to the top of the ratings. But within a month, there were six spoken word poetry recordings in the top ten of the singles charts. Every magazine, from Good Housekeeping to Playboy, had a poet on the cover. Before long, crowds were chanting poems by Wordsworth, Milton and Stevie Smith at football matches. So enwrapped in the spectators become, in the subtle celebrations of life, the poignancies, tragedies and ambiguities and the deep philosophical dilemmas articulated in the poetry that they lost interest in the game being played. By the end of the season, the players have lost interest in it too. <laughs> the daily poetry recitals at Wembley Arena all sold out within minutes even at 1 to 6.30 in the morning. Politicians started speaking in verse. In July, an episode of EastEnders was broadcast with each character talking entirely in iambic pentameter. This team became standard. <laughs> Soap operas, thrillers, documentaries, the news, and eventually even weather forecasts. Housewives reaching supermarkets stopped gossiping and took up the training for steamers. Unfortunately, road accidents increased, owing to drivers experiencing epiphanies at the wheel. The birth rate decreased as couples gave up sex in order to concentrate on reciting love poems to each other with dead. Space travel resumed so that astronaut poets could recite sonnets on the moon. Then in 2011, everyone started playing the flute. I am an old woman. <laughs> Next time round, I'll be a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Cats, blue sticks, pointy hats. Love them or loathe them, you just can't ignore them, can you, eh? Everybody, turn to someone next to you and talk to them for 41 seconds about cats, broomsticks and pointy hats. Talk to someone next to you about cats, broomsticks, pointy hats. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> Only at home when I'm wearing private. But the a squirrel. <laughs> Bring on the pain! Yeah. Thanks everybody, that was a magnificent time. Give yourself a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah.